What's up guys, it's The Edge and I'm happy to be here because this means we made at least 500 views on our How to Hear Spider-Man. And that's, that feels great because we put a bunch of work in there. And so because of that, like I promised, it is time for part two so you can learn more about the fighting styles, the techniques, and how to become Spider-Man, your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. With that said, let's get right into this. We were all created with the potential to become superheroes. We all have the power to cause change in this world. This is how I choose to use my power. I had a dream, I lived in a world of discrimination. Different races, raising killers and rapists. Fake like I live in the Matrix, so I awaken. This is the case. What's up guys, it's Joel Messenger here, subbing in for The Edge. This is going to be quick and dirty, just how I like it. We're going to talk about how to hero Spider-Man moves, techniques, and training styles to make you fight like the spider. First one we're talking about is the scissor kick. As you can see here, it looks pretty simplistic. All it requires is a pair of balls, a pair of legs, and a pair of eyes for targeting. You're going to jump up here, throwing your front leg in front of your target. Your back leg is also going to come up around back the knees, and all you're going to do is use your obliques and your ab muscles, as well as twist, twisting your body using your body weight, pull your opponent, bend them over their own knees on the back side. Next move we're talking about here is the aerial, more of an evasive technique for free running. It's essentially a cartwheel without hands. You just come in jumping off that front leg. This gives you the ability to go over targets, dodging techniques, as well as just making you kind of hard to hit. It's not incredibly useful for anything other than acrobatics, showing up, basically establishing a style for yourself. This nerf gun is obviously not a stand-in for any sort of real firearm, but it just gives you the idea that it makes you hard to track and hard to follow. Next one is called the Kip Up. A classic staple, this helps you get up quicker from the ground. As Spider-Man, you gotta be quick and fast. You might get hit to the ground, you might be on the ground to start with. Either way, you need to be able to get up a lot quicker than urching yourself up and creaking all your bones like a 70-year-old man. This is an example here of getting kicked and needing to hop right back up and getting right back into the fight. Next skill you're gonna need is a wall running for maneuvering, for speed, for moving to place to place, whatever. You need to be able to have some sort of parkour aspect, make yourself hard to hit, whether with a fist, whether with a bullet, whatever. It's gonna be incredibly useful. The trick to this, as, I, as the Edge and I figured out to try it, is that you don't actually wanna push off on that first step. You wanna just allow your feet to place. Now this right here, as you can see, three steps, he's moving up the wall, moving further and further, and this is just how you practice. We use a crash mat because, as you can see, it's a rock climbing wall behind there. It's not really flat, not really great surface for it. So all you want to do is move your feet across it. Just practice maneuvering on the walls. This is called the forward roll. It's a super versatile movement technique. You want to start off on the ground on your knees, putting your hand on the ground, pushing forward with your legs, putting your lead shoulder to the ground and rolling forward, pushing with your leg, tucking your head out of the way. This has a whole bunch of applications for actual movement, for tucking and rolling from any far heights. Right here. So you want to start it off here on the ground just to get a feel for it. You then want to start working in more and more momentum. The far faster you're going, the easier it is. As you can see here from this back angle, this illustrates really how much you need to push with that back leg in order to get it down. Now, once you're done getting it done on the ground, you want to start up standing up. As you can see, this gets you more momentum. The roll kind of happens naturally at this point. You just want to lead, putting your hands on the ground, allowing your shoulder to follow. That follow through is really what's going to get you back up. This works for movement, for dodging, for getting out of the way, for tucking and rolling from a landing. As you can see from the standing roll, that Good. is really where you would get kind of your uh, your stopping from a high fall kind of thing because you fall keeping your legs sort of bent. You then collapse your legs and roll forward. You'll see yep. the edge do a uh, roll from the top. There we go. Right there, he gets some height okay. to practice that sort of drop. One. And that sort of idea wall, of like if you off. fell from like a like a fire escape, any sort of yeah. height, you want to bend your knees into the roll. Here we go. We're gonna have him do it here off the wall. He's yeah. gonna do a wall run, oh. three steps up, fall, and roll forward. He only did one step on that one. As you can see there, we're in a. You want to hit the ground with your legs expected, ready to bend. They bend forward. You get that forward momentum. You put that shoulder to the ground, and you just roll out. And that's really the best way to fall from any safe height where break falling is not an option. For our last technique here, we have the classic jump back spin kick. <laughs> To practice, get your regular backspin kick here on the ground as we see the edge trying to backspin kick nerf darts, followed by some actual jump backspin kick training. The trick is jump, twisting on the ground, getting your foot around, and kicking while you're in the air. Practice this kick. 
I don't know what this is. I'm gonna keep talking about jump back spin kick. But jump back spin kick, you wanna practice that kick because it gets your entire body weight behind your foot. It's like a haymaker for your legs, except for it's thrown quicker and it's not as easily telegraphed. From the ground, you can't really tell. Alrighty guys, that about wraps it up here for How to Hear Spider-Man Part 2, Quick and Dirty, Just How I Like It. My name is Joel Messenger, I'm a martial artist like The Edge, been training for about 15 years alongside The Edge in the same martial art. If you've seen a video on this channel, I helped to make it, don't let the fact that the aviators and the Superman hat are missing from this video detract from it and let you not hit that like button and that subscribe button. My name is Joel Messenger and I'll see you later. <laughs>